The PlayStation Plus freebies for the month of March are to be revealed probably tomorrow. They should be coming any day now. And with this video, I want to take a look at some games that I personally would love to get. They're realistic. However, with one of them, I'm pushing it a little bit. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And I want to start things off with one of my favorite PlayStation 4 games that has been released. And that is Nier Automata. Now, maybe this is a little bit too much to get Nier Automata. But at this stage of the game, it is nearing four years years old so I feel like you know Square Enix has gotten what they can get out of Nier Automata so why not strike up a nice little deal with Sony right ahead of the release of Nier Replicant mind you get it accessible to as many people as possible and then when Nier Replicant comes out in April I believe April the 23rd you can get people excited about that game too while Nier Replicant probably won't be as good as Automata it does feature you know a lot of the same presentation elements music things of that nature the gameplay probably won't be as strong in Replicant however uh, it still should be a pretty good game, and you can get people excited for that. Mind you, that Nier Automata is also a very, very good game, so you can introduce this game to maybe some of the people that aren't as into Japanese titles, and this is definitely going to be a good one to get them into it based on Platinum Games' high-octane action gameplay. They'll get super into that. The music is excellent. Visuals are great. I mean, Nier Automata is just an excellent game, and again, at this point, it's been nearly four years since the game has come out, so you've gotten all that you can get out of it, but to have it as a plus freebie, I don't think it's, you know, the end of the world for Square Enix if they offer it as a plus freebie. I just think it's a quality game, and I think people would be happy with it at the same time i would see that being a game uh that a lot of people already do own and people would be upset at that stage as well but at the same time i do think there's an audience of people that haven't played near automata that would enjoy it and the element of you know having a game that's a plus freebie that's just a reality you have to settle with when you're talking about plus games okay next up would love to see Outer Wilds as a freebie. Now, Outer Wilds is a game that kind of went under the radar for a plethora of different reasons. I believe it initially was an Epic Game Store exclusive, so that already made the game have a bit of a quiet release on PC, and then it was released on other platforms as well, but Outer Wilds is not a game you hear a lot of people talking about, especially when it comes to PlayStation. However, it's a game that has been received at a very high level by critics, an 85 on Metacritic, an overwhelmingly positive reception on Steam. I mean, those are marks that are pretty good. If you don't know, the game has been named Game of the Year 2019 by Giant Bomb, Polygon, Eurogamer, and The Guardian. Outer Wilds is a critically acclaimed and award-winning open-world mystery about a solar system trap in an endless time loop that is from the official steam page the game notes you're the newest recruit of the outer wilds ventures a fledgling space program searching for answers in a strange constantly evolving a solar system it has a lot of mystery a lot of exploration all that good stuff and i think it, as a game that would be a plus freebie I think it would be something people get into. I don't think a lot of people would check it out if it just sees a regular sale, just because it's been one of those games that has been lost in the shuffle to the PlayStation audience, in my opinion, over the last little while. So take that for what you will, but I think Outer Wilds would be a great plus freebie. Okay, next up, Spiral Reignited Trilogy came out a while ago, and I think it would be a good time to offer it that as a plus freebie. I do think Spyro is going to get a new game at some point, so maybe it would be a good idea to hold it off until you're around the time of the release for that game still i think if you offer spiral ring Netter trilogy to uh, plus subscribers for free i think it would be one of those games that people just see being promoted on the playstation store and the most casual of consumers are like wait a minute spiral got remastered with the original three games and then they check it out that way and they fall in love with spiral all over again maybe that's a little bit too much wishful thinking, but what I do know is Spyro Reignited Trilogy has a collection of three fantastic platformers that everybody should play. Maybe not everybody is as nostalgic with Spyro as I am because this is a franchise that I grew up with. Spyro was my first game on the PlayStation 1, maybe first or second. I forgot if it was Spyro or Mega Man X4. It was one of the two. Maybe it was both. I don't really remember. I was a young little lad back then, but Spyro was one of the very first games that I played on a console, and I got super, super into it. And back then on the PlayStation 1, days we didn't even have the $30 to buy the memory card or maybe we just didn't know what a memory card was so if you died it was game over back to the beginning and it was some wild times obviously with the reignited trilogy it's a little bit different it's modernized it's brought up to a you know whatever it came out 2017 2018 standard the games look great but they also have that nostalgic feel that if you played Spyro back in the day you're gonna feel right at home and it's gonna be a game you really really enjoy so 
and definitely I would love to see Spyro Reignited Trilogy as a plus uh, title and I have the game I have the game on PC I have the game on PlayStation 4 uh, I have the game on Nintendo Switch even and uh, you know I would like to see a bigger audience of people play the game as well and I think with a plus offering it would be exactly that and I think people would be happy with that as an offering Next up, Yakuza 0 I feel like should be a plus title. It's weird because Yakuza Kiwami has been a plus game, but for whatever reason, Yakuza 0 has not been a plus freebie. And Yakuza 0 is like the kickstart of the story, although Yakuza Kiwami was a remake of Yakuza 1, which was the very first release of the game. You guys get the idea. Yakuza 0 would be a great uh, entry point to the story of Kiryu, and I think people would get super into that. Yakuza as a franchise has been gaining some steam. Like a Dragon got received super well. Judgment, a game done by the same studio, got received super well. And now it seems like it's a franchise that's really here to stay, and it's going to do quite well. I think Yakuza 0 as an offering would be pretty good. Even though on sale it does go for 10 bucks. I just think if you offer it to people as a freebie, you're getting them into the franchise right out the gate, and I do think people would get super into that. Maybe it's me just hyping up Yakuza a bit too much, but yeah, I've been known to do that for quite a while. Lastly, if we're talking about PlayStation 5 games to get for free, I mean, it's hard to pinpoint one that wouldn't be like me asking for a little bit too much, but I'd love to see the Pathless as a PlayStation uh, Plus title. This is one that really got lost in the shuffle, which is unfortunate. It's coming from the creators of Abzu. The Pathless is noted to be a mythic adventure of an archer and an eagle in a vast forest. Now, if we're talking about games that, you know, would be, I think, received really well as a plus title, I think this would be received pretty well because it's still going for, what, $40 to $50, $40, and it, it's not going on sale or anything like that. However, if you want to get people excited about a plus freebie and then you also want to get some attention on this game, I think offering it as a plus title would be really good. It's not like I'm hearing a lot of people picking it up and you can offer it for a month as a plus title and then ultimately it'll leave plus and then, you know, you can put it on sale down the line. Whatever you want to do, just get people playing the game because I do think it's unfortunate that it's been lost in the shuffle because Abzu was such a great game that uh, this does d definitely deserve some attention. I think the plus route is a pretty solid route if they can come to a deal with Sony and I would pr if I was Sony, I'd pay a pretty penny to offer this as a plus title. I think that would be something that gets people really excited and happy to be a plus subscriber. That's the one PS5 game that I saw, and I was like, okay, that'd be a great uh, option to offer as a PlayStation 5 title. Obviously, Destruction All-Stars is still being offered, I believe, so who knows if they're gonna do another PlayStation 5 game in March. We'll see how that turns out, but those are the five that I selected. Let me know in the comment section down below and try to make realistic suggestions. You're not gonna get Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. You're probably not going to get the Demon Souls remake as a plus title, but there are definitely, you know, normal answers and possible answers that are still relatively compelling and would make people happy to be a plus subscriber. At the end of the day, I'll reiterate it every video. I don't think online gaming should be uh, pay to play. I don't think there should be a subscription fee, but if we're forced to pay a subscription fee to pay play online, at the very least, let's hope we get some decent offerings for the plus titles as well. That's going to wrap up this one. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.